Do you know what are trick fountains? Oh. Trick fountains used to be a thing in 16th century. All rich people wanted to have in their gardens. Today, they exist no more, except only one that is in Salzburg. In today's video, we are going to show you what are trick fountains and how did they work and how did people enjoy it. Today, we will take you on a journey through one of the most unique attraction in Salzburg, that is Helborn Trick Fountains. Salzburg in Austria is a city renowned for its stunning Baroque architecture, rich history and charming atmosphere. This is one of such cities where you will get to see all the fancy things rich people built in the previous centuries. The Hellbrunn Palace was built in the early 17th century as a summer residence for the Archbishop of Salzburg. The palace is surrounded by magnificent gardens which were designed to impress and entertain the guests of Archbishop. This palace is the palace where many movies have been shot. One such famous movie is Sound of Music which captures the beauty of this palace and you can enjoy those scenes here. Another amazing place in this palace is the Trick Fountain which we really felt was something interesting surprising and enjoyable. The cost for Trick Fountain Palace with permanent exhibition and the museum will cost 13.5 euro for adult and for children it costs 6 euro. But if you have a Salzburg card, one time admission is free. For details on the Salzburg city ticket, you can actually click on the link above. We have discussed in details about this card. Hellbrunn Castle is located 5 kilometers south of Salzburg. To get there, either you take the bus number 25 or you can go by your own transport. And also you can go by bicycle. In this case, you need to cycle till Hellbrunner Ali, the old avenue of the Prince Archbishop. If you go by bus, it takes no more than 20 minutes to reach Hellbrunn, while the bicycle ride takes approximately one hour. We traveled by car and there are ample parking spaces available at the location. But you need to buy the parking ticket. Imagine a man who is simultaneously a prince and an archbishop, the man of power with wealth of gold and Saul. His name is Marcus Zitikus. His vision is to create such places that had never previously existed. You can still feel this passion today in Hellbrunn. It is more than a hunting lodge. It's more of a pleasure palace. Quite simply, a place for celebration, for pleasure. In 1600, such places were very fashionable, but in today, it's very uncommon. The permanent exhibition in Hellbrunn Palace dissipates the unexpected world of Marcus Siticus. It conveys history in a very different way, probably just as the Prince Archbishop would have liked. As we enter the gardens, we are greeted by a series of water fountains which look like ordinary fountains but there is more to them than meets the eye. The fountains are designed to surprise and delight visitors with their unexpected tricks. These trick fountains and the mechanical hydraulic theatres are built in 17th century. There were many such trick fountains built by many other kings. But during that century, these trick fountains did not gain much popularity. So all other fountains were buried except the one in the Salzburg, Australia. So today, this is one only trick fountain which is available in the world. Trick fountain is all about the hidden jet. You never know from where the water will start to sprinkle. As you can see in the video here, the hidden jets are also under the seats. Not sure, but it is said that once the guests were done with their food, the king would ask to switch the jet on just for the entertainment. Not sure how this was funny, but the king enjoyed it. We were in this place at end of October and it was already very chilly. The guy took some pity on us and told where the water was going to sprinkle so that we don't get wet. But I am quite sure this will be more fun in summer. As we walk further, we see a statue that appears to be vomiting water, but it is actually a trick fountain designed to look that way. As we continue to our journey through the gardens, we came across this hidden artificial cave that is home to a variety of water features. Here we witnessed water jets shooting from the hidden holes in the wall, spraying water in every direction. It is very tricky to escape from the water jets here.
As you can see here, this place has this magnificent mechanical theatres and also many small little figurines. Skill in the water technology behind this creates this amusing scenes. Just not to bore you in this video with the technology and the mechanics behind this, we have created a quick and short video. If you are curious, check out the link above. One of the most spectacular tricks of the trick fountain is the crown fountain. So today I'm not making you wet okay. because it's October and not very nice, not very warm. Today I will show you only where the water comes from and where it goes. Okay. Here a crown shaped fountain shoots out water in every direction creating a beautiful spectacle and also from the walls. However what visitors don't realize is that the water is carefully controlled by a hidden operator who can change the direction and intensity of the water at will. Trick fountains are not just about water and illusions, it's about music. As we walk through the gardens, we hear a sound of music coming from the hidden speakers, creating a surreal and magical atmosphere.